Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be doing some max speed build. Now I'm like questioning which speed item would be best for the speed build right now. So, I don't know. We do have the Elias armor that I am hoping that is a little bit better than the speed armor that I have from World Magic, right? And I ran out of money. <laughs> That's 36 speed, so that's not bad, right? 36 speed? Oh shit! Oh wait, not it's not 36 speed. It's 32 speed, which is lower than the mercenary boots. The mercenary boot can only stay at 100, which kind of sucks, man. Well, I did it. <laughs> well, apparently the Elias armor only gives you 36, and the mercenary boots gets more. <laughs> The armor though, it also gives less. What is going on? I mean, it's pretty good because it gives you power, but since we are going for max speed right now. Now, I don't know if there's any b items that's better than what I have right now, but this should be the best I got throughout all my files and stuff. So, <laughs> I equipped it. I can't tell the difference between the movement speed. Now, you can see it definitely changed it a little bit, right? We'll use Aura in a bit though, but so far I can't really tell the difference maybe, right? Let's unequip it so we can see the difference. Um, Cause for me guys, I don't know, I could barely tell. This is the normal speed, it's like two, 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 two. I don't know, it's like the tick. It's the footstep, right? Let me turn on the va volume a little bit. Oh my god. Nah bro, nah bro, that's not it. I hate that sound. Where's the oof? Did they change the oof? God damn. <sighs> this is why we can't have good things. They keep changing everything, man. Anyways. Gonna go ahead. Well, if I can find it. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Anyways. So. It's twice as fast, it feels like, right? You're two times as fast as before. And like that's running, right? That was running. Uh, this is walking. I mean, this is fine. Like, it doesn't really feel much difference, right? But that's not what we're here for. The walking speed is not important. We're here for the jumping and high jumping. I don't know. So jumping, it definitely affects it. See? You guys can kind of tell. It's like a short hop. Oh my god. That was not a charge jump, by the way. So normally you would be at jumping twice as like low, right? See, you guys could obviously tell the difference, right? Holy shit, that's crazy. So if we jump, we jump really high. That's a max charge jump. Holy shit. Now if we do max charge it, um... <laughs> okay, so everything is two times. Basically, I have two times speed because I have like 200 agility and stuff. So yeah, um, it's pretty good. And now I think it, the agility it also affects your dashing, which is you know this, this. Oh my god! Oh my god! I went so far. You guys could obviously tell the difference. I feel like right. Let's see. I can jump all the way from over here, which is crazy. Oh my god. And obviously, it doesn't seem very useful, but I think in pirate, right? If you're fighting pirates and you're carrying cargo around, I think this might be really nice. Well, in general, and I think if we mix... Oh, this is high cliff. Okay, now if we charge this... <laughs> we can jump all the way up here. Oh, man. Okay, that's crazy. And we don't even have the speed aura right now. Holy shit, um, I will double check it real quick guys. Okay, we do have speed. Good, 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 good. So, for the speed, we're gonna activate it. Okay, we walk a little bit faster. That's fine. What about jumping? Um, I don't see the difference much, but it should be fine. What about dashing? Do we dash from here to there? It's like a 0.25 maybe, it feels like. Or maybe 10%, it feels like. I don't know. 
But we can jump around a lot. Okay, well let's try this jump again. Ooh. I don't think it changes the jump much, so... Yeah, I think it's mainly the speed. So, the aura... It's only maybe the dashing speed, or... Just walking speed. Can't really tell, because it's not important. <laughs> Agility is where it's at. So, and last but not least, we're gonna test it on ice, right? So, I'm thinking if I could try this on my ice file, right? It would be pretty good. Yeah, I'll show you guys in a bit. I got a technique I want to show you guys with ice. That could be pretty good, I'm not sure. But we're gonna have to find out. Um, let's just test this right now. So, if we activate Aura on ice, right? It would do this, right? Oh, I miss, I miss. Anyways. I think I'm a little bit too fast, so I can't control it. <laughs> Yeah, this is a little bit crazy right now. So if we don't jump, we're just gonna normally dash onto the ice. It's like I'm hacking. <laughs> oh! We barely made it. Let's go. Oh, that was crazy. But yeah, as you can see, ice launches you really far with this build. So if you're an ice user, definitely try this. <laughs> Alright, let me go over to my ice file guys, and we're gonna test this out. Anyways, I am on my ice file now. <laughs> so let me show you guys. Here's the build again. Um, I'll be using ice across the ocean, or at least that's the plan, right? I don't have aura here because I'm a conjurer, so we can't really use the speed buff, but... Should be all the same, hopefully. So we do this. If we shift lock, we can just do this. I'm not sure how fast we can travel, right? Let's check on the map real quick, guys. We put the ice here. So we're going to Sailor's Lodge. Sailor's Lodge is that way. Oh, I missed. Anyways, I'm not super familiar right now because I haven't done this as a warm-up yet, so if you fail, oh, you're gonna have to like get back up again or pray that the ice doesn't move over you, so it's kind of annoying, but like, you know, it works if you can pull this off consistently, so it could be faster than a bow if you're like doing it correctly, unlike me, who tripped it earlier. I mean, it's pretty good for like traveling around, honestly. Just like getting to places faster, especially as conjurer. Anyways, we got here in like what? How many minutes? I don't know. Probably a minute. Um, I mean, I feel like it's the same as like a boat traveling, but it was pretty good. We traveled really far. Like, see, this dash distance is insane. Oh my god. <laughs> but anyways, that was kind of fun actually. I want to try that again, except do it on someone, you know, maybe he'll see me. Actually, we could try to race him. Now, if he goes somewhere, we could try to chase this Kench, right? I'm waiting for him to go, so he, hopefully it's not too sus, you know? <laughs> Anyways, we'll chase after him. Aw, oh, he thinks I'm trying to hop aboard. I need to tell him I, to race. I'm almost catching up. Like, the Kench is faster than me, but I'm almost faster than him. Damn. Well, you can't beat a Kench, unfortunately, but I could probably beat the other ones. Alright, well. <laughs> but you guys saw the speed. That was insane. We went to, like, what, Polo Town already? Is this Polo Town? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we went to the garden, the arena looking place. Wow, but that was crazy. Um, We almost outbeat a Kench just by doing this method. Um, 
that was insane guys that was insane holy shit definitely give this a try like look at this it's pretty budget besides the argo cape yeah this is argo cape and maybe the jacket and amulet the accessory is a little bit hard to get but this jacket right you can replace them with Elias and you can do more damage so this is a solid build if you just want to like go looting right or fight pirate and do some treasure runs I think this is solid I think it's utility wise 10 out of 10 but probably for like in general content <laughs> but probably not a good idea because you don't have the defense so um yeah not bad not bad not bad